Construction has been underway on Flower Hill for a while now, but there is more to it than meets the eye. Find out more next on Falcon Weekly. For the past few weeks, the UM Fiscal Plan has been working on relaying the brick streets and pathways on Flower Hill. While working on the project, however, the director of the fiscal plan, Billy Hughes, said he decided to add one more piece to the project, discovering and rebuilding the Flower Hill Amphitheater. During this uh, research behind me, I probed the ground where the brick were, trying to see if I could find more. Within the grassy hill were old brick paths that outlined the whole theater, including audience seating. Working with his team at the fiscal plant and campus archivist Kerry Heatherly, Hughes said his goal is to stick with the original plan for the campus that was drawn out by the Olmsted brothers in 1930. This includes keeping the original pass of the theater and revitalizing these bricks to create a space everyone can use. Our goals, or my goal, is to bring this whole area back to life. It is a very large amphitheater. It's 200 feet across. Uh, about 200 feet long. The stage is already there. I see great use of the amphitheater for outdoor concerts, plays, parties that could be used by a number of different people on campus. Hughes and his team have been planning so far ahead with this amphitheater, they've even added wheelchair access paths into the design. It is hard to say when the amphitheater will be open for campus use, but it is a direct discovery within the Olmstead plan that links the University of Montevallo directly to its past with plans for the future. Reporting for Falcon Weekly, I'm Mandy Stedman.